Welcome to this week's Monday Minutes. My name is Kelly. And my name is Jesse. And this week we are going to show you a pretty cool enhancement that allows you to scan a QR code from the Koha OPAC and send something to your device. So this is a perfect example if, you know, you may have a, a user who is you know, at the reference desk, they're asking you a question and you're like, here, why don't you scan this QR code and it'll send it right to your phone. Um, or, or you're at home, uh, you know, and you want to send it to your partner's or your children's phone, you know, quick way to do it. Right. And really we're going through a process where like, we don't want a lot of things touched in the library. So this will eliminate your little pencils and pieces of paper, which you probably threw away because you didn't want to allow anyone to use your pencils. Um, this will have the ability for your patron to really just scan that on their phone and find that item on the shelf. So the first thing we're going to do is jump over to the staff side because now there's a new system preference that allows you to enable or not enable it. Um, by default, it is not enabled in your system. So we're going to go directly into our Koha administration, come over to our global system preferences and just type in QR. That's going to bring up OPAC detail QR code. Kelly, tell us a little bit about it. So if you set this to enable, it's, it's going to do exactly what it says. On the detail page of a record on your OPAC, you will have the ability to send to a device. Now, when I first heard about this coming in 1911, and a lot of you are already on 1911, I thought, do I need an app for a QR code? Back in the day, back in the day, you did need to have an app. Now with our devices, you can just take a picture with your phone. So if we go over to the OPAC, search in the catalog for an item. Good old Babysitter's Club. Yeah, we hear it's coming hot and heavy back into, into the town. Okay, so it's not gonna show up on here. It's going to show up in the detail portion of the record. So if we click that Babysitter's Club, Christie's big idea, on the far right, you'll actually see it to, it says, send to a device. So now when I click on that, it populates a QR code. So I will say in my example, I have an iPhone and there's actually a shortcut that you can just, you know, add and scan QR devices. As Kelly mentioned, it's just using that um, image. And um, I scanned it, it pulls it and jumps me right into the yeah, right into the record, right into the, the OPAC, into the record itself. And you can walk to the shelf or show the, show the staff member what you're looking for. In our great reopening webinar that we just did, um, Catherine from Cedar Park Library in uh, Texas showed the great example of what they've done to set up the reference interaction computers where they mm -hmm. have some plexiglass in front of it. So, yeah. you know, whatever the new process and procedure is for your library, hopefully this is one extra step to have that contactless um, communication with your patrons. Yeah, absolutely. So it's really just an easy turn on this system preference and it will show up to your users on the OPAC. Okay, right. well, another fun enhancement for 1911 and have a great week. Have a great week.